Oklahoma State Cowboys Basketball, Wikipedia Article Audio The Oklahoma State Cowboys basketball team represents Oklahoma State University in Stillwater, Oklahoma, United States in NCAA Division I men's basketball competition. The Cowboys currently compete in the Big 12 Conference. History The Early Years Henry E. Baera 1970-90 Eddie Sutton Era 2001 Plane Crash Sean Sutton Era Travis Ford Era Brad Underwood Era Mike Boynton Era Postseason NCAA Tournament Results Net Results Year-by-year -year Results Facilities Gallagher Eba Arena Since 1938, the team has played its home games in Gallagher Eba Arena. Prior to 1957, the school was known as Oklahoma A&M College and the teams were nicknamed the Aggies. On March 21, 2016, Brad Underwood was hired as head coach at Oklahoma State, replacing the fired Travis Ford. Just short of one year, on March 18, 2017, Underwood left the program for Illinois. Assistant Mike Boynton was promoted to head coach on March 24. Oklahoma State University began varsity intercollegiate competition in men's basketball in 1908. The Cowboys rank 35th in total victories among all NCAA Division I college basketball programs, with an all-time win-loss record of 15-17-10-53 at the end of 2010-11 season. The Cowboys have made 22 total appearances in the NCAA tournament, reaching the NCAA Final Four six times and the NCAA Regional Finals 11 times. Oklahoma State won the NCAA championship in 1945 and 1946. The Cowboys rank 10th in all-time Final Four appearances and 7th in total NCAA championships. Under nine head coaches in this period Oklahoma A&M found very little success, with only six winning seasons. Very little success was found early on and after a six-win 15-loss season under first-year coach John Malbich things were not looking well. However, in the next three seasons Malbich turned around the program leading the Aggies to a 41-20 record culminating with a first-place finish in their last season in the Southwest Conference. The move to the Missouri Valley Conference in 1925 would halt the progress under this budding coach. After Malbich resigned from the positions of football, baseball and basketball coach the Aggies would not have another winning season until Henry Eba took the reins in 1934. This period in Oklahoma State basketball history was marked with mainly football coaches heading the football, baseball, and basketball teams. Henry Eba came to Oklahoma A&M College in 1934 and remained for 36 years. He retired after the 1969-70 season. For most of his tenure at A&M slash OSU, he doubled as athletic director. Eba's teams were methodical, ball-controlling units that featured weaving patterns and low-scoring games. Eba's swinging gate defense was applauded by many, and is still effective in today's game. He was known as the Iron Duke of Defense. Eba's Aggies became the first to win consecutive NCAA titles. His 1945-46 NCAA champions were led by Bob Curland, the game's first seven-foot player. 
They beat NYU in the 1945 finals and North Carolina in the 1946 finals. He was voted coach of the year in both seasons. His 1945 champions also defeated National Invitation Tournament champion DePaul and 6 feet 9 inches center George Mekon in a classic Red Cross benefit game. Eba's 1949 and 1951 teams also reached the Final Four of the NCAA Tournament. Oklahoma A&M slash Oklahoma State teams won 655 games, 14 Missouri Valley Championships and one Big 8 Championship, in 36 seasons with Eba as head men's basketball coach. Mr. Eba as he is still popularly known at OSU, remained a fixture on campus until his death in 1993, often giving advice to players during practice. One seat in the Southeast Concourse level of Gallagher Eba Arena remains unused in his honor. The poor results of the final five years of Eba's tenure largely remained the status quo for Oklahoma State during the two decades following his retirement. From the 1970-71 to 1989-90 seasons, the Cowboys finished with winning records six times, finished in the top half of the Big Eight Conference standings only three times, and earned a berth in the NCAA tournament only once. After being an assistant for the Cowboys in 1958-59, Eddie Sutton returned to Oklahoma State in 1990 to coach. In the years leading up to his hiring, the team had made postseason play only three times since joining the Big Eight Conference in 1957. The Pokes began to turn around almost immediately with Sutton's presence, and in 1991, Oklahoma State returned to the NCAA Tournament, winning their first NCAA Tournament game since making the Elite Eight in 1965. Sutton's Cowboys advanced all the way to the Sweet 16 during his first two seasons. In 1995, the Pokes, under the leadership of Bryant Big Country Reeves and Randy Rutherford, captured the Big 8 Conference Tournament and won a bid to the 1995 NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Tournament. They advanced to the Final Four in Seattle, Washington, where they lost to eventual champion UCLA. It was the Cowboys' deepest advance in the tournament since 1951. Led by John Lucas III, Joey Graham, and 2004 Big 12 Player of the Year Tony Allen, Sutton's 2003-04 team finished with a school record 31 wins, won both the Big 12 regular season and tournament championships, and advanced to the Final Four as a number 2 seed in the 2004 NCAA Tournament. The Cowboys finished the season ranked number 4 in the Final AP Poll and Coaches Poll. In his 16 seasons in Stillwater, the Cowboys reached the postseason 15 times, including 13 NCAA tournament bids and two Final Four appearances. They also captured three regular season conference titles and three conference tournament championships. Sutton finished his career at OSU as the second winningest coach in school history, behind only his mentor, Eba. On January 27, 2001, one of three planes carrying Oklahoma State staff and players crashed in a snowstorm near Byers, Colorado, killing all ten on board. The plane was on its way back from a loss against the University of Colorado. Those killed included Nate Fleming, a redshirt freshman guard, Dan Lawson, a junior guard, Bill Tejans, radio sportscaster of OSU basketball and sports anchor on CBS affiliate KWTV-9 in Oklahoma City, Kendall Durfee, television and radio engineer, Will Hancock, media relations coordinator, 
Pat Noyes, Director of Basketball Operations, Brian Lewinstra, Athletic Trainer, Jared Weiberg, Student Assistant, Denver Mills, Pilot and Bjorn Fulestrom, Co-Pilot. Since 2007, Oklahoma State has honored these 10 during an annual 5K and 10K race called the Remember the 10 Run. Eddie Sutton's son, Sean Sutton, also a former Cowboy player, took over head coaching duties in 2006. Following a record of 39-29 during his first two seasons, Sutton resigned under pressure after a March 31, 2008, meeting with Athletic Director Mike Holder. On April 16, 2008, Travis Ford was hired as the 18th men's basketball head coach at Oklahoma State. He resigned from the same position with the UMass Minutemen to take the position. At the time of his hiring, he had a Division I coaching record of 123-115. Ford also coached at Eastern Kentucky and Campbellsville University. As a player, he was coached by Norm Stewart at the University of Missouri as a freshman. He transferred after his freshman season and played for three years at the University of Kentucky under Rick Pitino. Ford was fired on March 18, 2016 after a season in which the Cowboys went 3-15 in Big 12 play and 12-20 overall. Although he led the Cowboys to five NCAA tournaments in his eight seasons in charge, he never led the Cowboys to a top-two finish in conference play, and finished sixth or worse in the Big 12 seven times. Three days after Ford's firing, Oklahoma State hired Brad Underwood from Stephen F. Austin State University. He began his coaching career at Kansas State, first serving as director of basketball operations for a season and then serving as an assistant for five more. Underwood then went to South Carolina as an assistant for a season before being hired to his first head coaching post at SFA. During his three seasons in charge, the Lumberjacks went 89-14 overall and 53-1 in Southland Conference regular season play making the NCAA tournament all three seasons and advancing to the second round twice. Underwood's 89 wins tie him with Brad Stevens for the most wins by a men's basketball head coach in his first three seasons at an NCAA school. He is also the first coach to be named Southland Conference Coach of the Year three consecutive times. On March 18, 2017 Brad Underwood was hired at Illinois. The school promoted assistant coach Mike Boynton Jr. to head coach on March 24. The Cowboys have appeared in the NCAA tournament 28 times. Their combined record is 38-27. They are two-time national champions. The Cowboys have appeared in the National Invitation Tournament 12 times. Their combined record is 8-12. National Champion Postseason Invitational Champion, Conference Regular Season Champion Conference Regular Season and Conference Tournament Champion, Division Regular Season Champion Division Regular Season and Conference Tournament Champion, Conference Tournament Champion. Gallagher Eba Arena, once dubbed Madison Square Garden of the Plains, is the basketball and wrestling venue at Oklahoma State University in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Originally completed in 1938 and named the 4-H Club and Student Activities Building, it was soon renamed Gallagher Hall to honor wrestling coach, Ed Gallagher. After renovations in 1987, the name became Gallagher Eba Arena, as a tribute to longtime basketball coach and innovator, Henry Eba. Gallagher Eba Arena was named the best college gymnasium by CBS Sportsline.com in August 2001.
voted first in Missouri Valley Conference in 1944 and 1945 there was no league play due to World War II. The first basketball game was played on December 9, 1938, when Ebos Oklahoma A&M Aggies beat Fog Allen S. Kansas Jayhawks, 21-15, in a battle between two of the nation's early basketball powers. In its original configuration, seating was limited to 6,381. Though small by today's standards, it was the largest collegiate facility in the country when completed. The original maple floor, still in use today, was the most expensive of its kind in America when it was installed in 1938. Oklahoma State completed a $55 million expansion of Gallagher Eba Arena prior to the 1999-2000 Cowboy basketball season. Rather than build a new, off-campus arena to accommodate the need for additional seating, the decision was made to expand Gallagher Eba Arena itself to more than double its original capacity. The old site lines and the original white maple floor were kept. On January 15, 2005, the court was officially named after Eddie Sutton as Eddie Sutton Court.